Hi, kids. All right. Um, we are going to, or at least I'm going to go through this page where it's understanding velocity versus acceleration in a graphical method. So um, this activity is honestly going to be super duper duper important for you um, because if you do not understand the difference between velocity and acceleration, you will continue to struggle in this class until you do. Uh, well, look at my glasses. Um, so please make sure that this activity makes sense to you. So, you know, you want to read through the background. So remember, velocity is how fast you're going plus the direction you're going, where acceleration is, you know, remember, I got this really sweet car, you know, my, my super sweet car. It goes from zero to 60 miles an hour. I, I know. I know. It's super sweet. It goes from zero to 60 miles an hour. Yeah, that's right. You want to know, well, how much time does it take? Because really, when we're talking about a car, it's not the change in velocity. It's the rate that your velocity changes, which is the acceleration. So remember, acceleration is your change in velocity over time. Um, so to do this activity, we are going to be using some. I have some Jenga blocks, so this is going to represent like, hey, this vector is going one meter per second. This vector is going... You know, these two Jenga blocks together would represent a vector going two meters per second, and these three Jenga blocks together would represent a vector going three meters per second. And you just remember, you know, arrows are important because uh, velocity is a vector, so you have to, you know, have your F and arrows. Now, you might be like, well, I don't have Jenga blocks. Well, then you know what? Then use markers. You know, like, hey, this one marker, that's going to be uh, represent the tip of the arrow. You know, maybe these two represent two. Well, you might be like, well, I don't have markers. Well, then use pencils, use pens, use something. But ladies and gentlemen, make sure that you actually try it, okay? Because you will remember it better, and this activity is that super duper, duper important. So try it. All right, so let me explain. So let's say at one me at at uh, one, at actually, we'll say this is time equals zero, just like it says on, on in the lab, the, the activity. At time equals zero, you're going one meter per second, so the initial velocity is one. And then at two seconds, no, at time is equal zero, one meter per second. At one second, you're going two meters per second. At three seconds, you're going, uh, no, at two seconds, you're going three meters per second. So this would be at zero seconds, I'm going one. At one second, I'm going two meters per second. And then at two seconds, I'm going three meters per second. So if I'm asking you to find, and it does ask you to find the acceleration. So your, your velocity would be one meter per second, then two meters per second, then three meters per second, okay? Um, if I was to ask you to find your acceleration, you would have to say the change in velocity divided by the time. So if I was to do that, I would take, if I wanted to find the acceleration from here to here, I would say change, which is final, minus the initial. So when you subtract vectors, it's like this. When you add them, it's just like, hey, I'm gonna add it tip to tail, you know, like that. Well, if I'm going to subtract vectors, it's your final minus your initial. How do you show minus? It points the other way. Well, that cancels this out. So my change in velocity would be one, but remember, it's acceleration is change of velocity over time. So in this case, my acceleration would be one meter per second per second, one meter per second squared. Or if you wanted to, let's say I wanted to go from this time to here. So from one second to two seconds. Well, final is three, my initial is two. So if I subtract it, I end up with my change is one meter per second, okay? Uh, and then again, my change in time, it'd be one second. So I would get one meter per second per second. So let me put it back. I want to make sure, ladies and gentlemen, your change in velocity is not always one. Watch. Let's say I wanted to go from, okay, my final at three seconds minus my initial. So final minus my initial. These cancel out. My change in velocity is two pointing to the right. Uh, and my time was two, so two divided by two is one meter per second per second. Okay, the acceleration would be that. So just, so hopefully that makes sense. That's how you're gonna be setting it up. Um, be careful, again, 
you're, it's not always going to be one. So, you know, if, let's say, for example, you are going from one to three to, I would need some more Jenga blocks, I'm gonna do it, to five. All right, so one, at one, at zero seconds it's this, at one second it's this, and then at, you know, three seconds it's this, or two seconds it's this. So if I was doing this example, now this example is not on the page, I'm just trying to give you another example. If I was to go final minus initial, then my change in velocity would be two, the time would be one second, so that would be my, my acceleration would be two meters per second per second. Or if I wanted to go from one second to uh, two seconds, my final is five. So if I go five minus one, my change would be four, but it would take two seconds. So then my acceleration would be four divided by two, which would be two meters per second per second. All right. So hopefully that's your introduction as far as like the manipulatives and what you're doing. Uh, you should be able to complete that activity. Remember, you have markers, you have pencils, you have, I mean, it could be crayons, whatever. So please try it because you will remember it better. And uh, make sure you understand the difference between velocity and acceleration. All right. Bye, kids.